I'm sitting with the founder of AngryTownHall.com, Troy Conrad, who is against the fire departments, libraries, and many other things because he says they're socialist in nature. Troy, welcome to the show. Now, Troy, you are against a lot of things. You're you're for. Let me just state. Well, would you tell me what is your organization about? Well, we're we're basically standing for the idea that nobody should have free fire care because it's costing us taxpayer dollars, and that's now, a huge problem. Now, when you say fire care, right? Now, are you referring to the fire departments and of local municipalities? I'm referring, yes, to our socialist fire departments. Yes, they are local, but they do receive some federal funding for equipment through FEMA and certainly the Forest Services. So there's an element of of nationalized socialized fire care, and then there's local socialized fire care, and it's wrong. I believe, and my organization – and we are one million strong. We believe that if your house burns down, you should go broke. And if you're in, and, and if you can't afford a fire department to come, you should die in that fire. And and that's what we are. Now, how does that help? How well, is that? How is that making it better? Because you're we, saying turn. You're saying turn over firefighting to the free market. That's the, what you're saying. The free because yes, and if anyone who's read Milton Friedman or Ayn Rand knows that the free market works this way and what what, what, what may happen? So you're saying if you if you if you privatize firefighting, it will somehow get better? Absolutely, it'll get better. How it, so? Because then I won't have to pay for my na- like like a couple nights ago, uh, my neighbor half their house burnt down and I thought, "Oh, great. Well, there's now there's taxes I have to pay for that." That's that's great for me and my family. Now, there was another neighbor who had the the department come to rescue a kitten in their tree, and I went, you know what? There's now a hundred more kids in my neighborhood who can't get a kitten because of the taxes that are imposed on their families to pay for the to fire pay for department. the fire department. So who, how would you fight fires? Well, Halliburton, Blackwater would be great institutions to come in. Take over these. You know, you could still keep the same firefighters because our our firefighters are heroes and they're amazing. But the problem is they're victims of Obama Fire Care. And if we could have Halliburton take it over, we would have more innovation. We would have certainly the the people who deserve to have their houses saved would get their houses saved. I don't. When you say deserve, I I, I still don't get it. So if you privatize the firefighting. You'll call. So what? Let's say there's a fire. What do you do? What happens? Well, uh, there's people who the, the ideal situation is people can buy a prepaid fire credit card that they can use. Uh-huh. Um, there's another situation that is uh, already in place. We're working with uh, a department in Des Moines to have Priceline take over all fire services. So you can actually just go and bid on in the free market right online if you have a fire. You log on and – So you, you're saying instead of paying taxes, you would just take the tax money and you would buy private firefighting assistance. But what if your neighbor doesn't? Well, that's that, – and that's their problem. It's just no, like – No, but what if your your neighbor's house catches on fire? That endangers your house. Well, no, because if you – if I – my house, I have a policy and I have a prepaid card, which I can use. If my neighbor's house is on fire, I am going to call my – my insurance provider actually has uh, – uh, provides my fire care. I call them, and they spray the side of my house with a foam deterrent. And so their house is still going to burn. My house will be fine because I have foam on the side. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, and then they go home. Now, how you, So you think – you're not saying that you think the fire department as it is today is inefficient. Do no, you, no. Are it, you saying that? Well, the the firefighters themselves – are the greatest in the world, but it's very inefficient. For instance, Obama is not allowing the innovation that private companies would bring. For instance, if we could privatize our fire departments, that would hopefully lead to privatizing NASA, and we could put out fires from space, possibly with small nuclear weapons, very, very small. Uh, they've been very effective in, in putting out fires. I still don't understand how your system would work. Uh, it is pay cash as you go. That's how. That's the best system. You and think that's that would be better? Market. That that would be a better system than having a, a, a municipality invest. Oh, it, it's a. I it's mean, a the way whole, we've been fired fighting fires seems to be working. Look, the government can't even run cash for clunkers. How can we trust them to put out fires? 
You know, and that's the big problem what do you here, mean Jimmy. They can't even run. Cash they flow can't clunkers. even run. I just know. I don't know much about cash flow clunkers, but I just know that I've been told that the government can't run it. And so, <laughs> why should I have them run my like? I'm I'm afraid to call because what what if uh, what if there's an elderly person in the house and Obama gave an order not to save them in uh, a fire? Why do you keep saying Obama? Well, Obama has We've had fire departments for hundreds of years in yeah, this country. Yeah, and and uh, never has there been such a wave of volunteerism, and never before has Acorn infiltrated our fire departments like it has now. How, what is Acorn? Acorn doesn't have anything. How is Acorn involved in the okay. fire department? Well, Acorn has. It, it, we have a number of unconfirmed and confirmed reports that Acorn has infiltrated our fire departments. And there have been a number of uh, – they've been using taxpayer dollars for uh, – they've, they've purchased uh, prostitutes and strippers to dance on the, on the pole. That's how do, how do, first of all, we're here – I just want to remind people we're here with uh, Troy Conrad. Troy Conrad. From AngryTownHall.com. AngryTownHall.com. Uh, Troy believes in the privatization of firefighting in America, along with other things, I'm sure. Um, how, how do you feel about libraries? Well, uh, that's a huge problem in America. I, I mean, libraries I, are a problem? Yeah, the, the American people have been reduced to slaves who have to work day after day to pay for someone else's books. <laughs> and if we, if we could turn over – you know, I, I call it book care because it's government book care. If we could turn over that operation to Barnes and Noble or Board or somebody who really knows how to run a business, uh, then I wouldn't have th- that saves taxpayer dollars to all the people because we don't want to read in America. We want to live and we want to live free. And it's almost like the government is forcing us to read, and that's a huge problem. And that's well, we're they're gonna forcing up, you to certainly pay for someone else's reading. Yeah, and and then that might motivate some ch- uh, children to go out there and start reading books that they haven't been given by their teachers that we've you just lobbied. Think that the government's going to provide your books your whole life. That's what you think? Yeah. Well, well why, they do. Why should they? Why should the government? <laughs> Uh, uh, give start giving kids library cards to go out and check out anything. What if I don't Why? want my kids? Have you seen some of the trash? Okay, that's your objection to libraries that there's some dirty books out if there. If I could look, if if me and, an, and a group of, of uh, from my organization could decide what goes in the library, then I'll listen. Have you had any protests? We did have so a protest. You've had we, some protests. We this did. Is real. Yes, we we had a protest in the down, in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, I, you know what? I actually had a friend who attended. It, that was at a library, wasn't it? Was, not? It was at a library, and that's where that, that, that six, was the most visible corner, Sixth and uh, and, and uh, Flower. Flower. Yeah. We stood there and we protested, and we let people know that you were against socialized libraries. That uh, that's right, socialized library care, as well as you know our, our fire departments. There was a, also a lot of buses we noticed going by. These things are right in front of us, Jimmy. They're right there, and we don't see them. Buses. Buses. Socialist buses. It, and, and that's what's ruining America. These buses, it, the driver is being paid with taxpayer dollars. The, the bus, socialized. I don't ride the bus, but I'm paying for it. How did you get to that rally? Because of Obama. How did you get to that rally? I took the train. I took the metro. Did you hear that little ding go up? Yeah. Yeah, because the trains are also socialized. Yes. Well, that, they are, and the, we, we lobbied for privatization after we were done with our protests that day. And, you know. How did you, how did you, li- how did you find these trains? Did you like them? Uh, I thought that they were comfortable. I didn't like that it was, it was subsidized. I would have rather had a situation where I paid maybe 10 or $15, but that they didn't let everyone else on the, the train. Yeah, anybody can just get us. So you're against, That's the problem. Yeah, so exclusion is what really kind of makes something Well, good. this is America, and it's not, you know, not... It, no, I the, agree with the you. The Nina, that. the Pinta, and the Santa Maria were not social.